news break and Happy New Year! Today for our first story of 2019, we are going to look at what's up. What's up? We are going to talk about space. Get it? Up? <laughs> While you are catching your breath, because that was so funny, don't forget to click the like button and smash that subscribe button so you can keep up with everything exciting that comes up in 2019. 2019 is going to start out busy. Astrologically speaking, we just passed the Quadratid meteor shower, which happens every year when Earth passes through an area of rocks left behind by asteroids or meteors. There is another meteor shower in April called the Lyrix Meteor Shower and in early May. According to seasky.org, there are a total of 11 meteor showers this year. A lot of those rocks burn up in the atmosphere, so there's no need to worry about one hitting your house. I hope. To see one of our early videos about meteor showers, click here. For those of us in North America, there will be a lunar eclipse on the 20th to the 21st of January. This is when the Earth passes in between the sun and the moon and blocks the light from hitting the moon's surface. In most of the United States, it would be partial. And for those of us in Canada, it would be a total eclipse between 11.41 p.m. and 12 43 a.m. This is a good excuse to tell your parents you have to stay up late. It's for science! Eclipse usually happens two to four times per year, either total or partial. The January full moon is going to be larger than the other ones because it's traveling closer to the Earth than usual. While I start brewing the coffee, Here's Nelly with the weather. Here's something that roasts your noggin when you're sitting in your room, being completely still. You're still in motion. It's because the Earth is spinning on its axis. It's in orbit around the sun and our solar system orbits around the center of the galaxy. I'm getting dizzy. Thank you, Nelly. I think a couple more cups of this and I'll be able to catch the lunar eclipse. For our next story, we would like to thank teachingkidsnews.com. They are a great reference for news, which is topical, reliable, and kid-friendly. To see their latest updates, check out their Facebook page. Currently up now in the International Space Station, there is a Canadian astronaut called David Saint Jacques. He boarded the ISS on the 3rd of December in 2018 and to spend six months there to conduct experiments and demonstrate technology. We wish you the best, Monsieur Saint Jacques. Did you know that Monsieur Saint Jacques had to travel by Canuck Steinke? <laughs> <laughs> to Baikonur, Kazakhstan, stand to take a rushing rocket to the ISS since NASA got rid of the space shuttle. They had to do this since 2011. Well, that might change as of this year. NASA has contracted companies like SpaceX and Boeing to build spacecrafts to launch from the US. On the 17th of January, SpaceX is going to test their Dragon capsule on their Falcon 9 rocket. First of all, points for the cool name. This won't carry people, but the next test in June will. Looks like things are looking up. <laughs> to see our video about SpaceX and the Falcon rocket, click here. Have you ever dreamt traveling to another planet? It could be a real one or a fictional one. Let us know in the comments down below. To watch this video in French, click here. To watch something a little different, click here. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And we will see you in our next orbit.